and welcome back to Job Carr Cabin Museum. Today we're featuring another fun summer craft. This time we are making corn husk action figures. So when you pick up your kit from the museum, you're going to get a set of dried corn husks. And the first thing you'll need to do is to soak them in water for about 10 minutes. And so I've had these soaking and they're ready to go. Um, soaking them makes them nice and soft so that we can move them and work with them easily. So soak them in water and then you're going to just pat them dry to get the extra water droplets off of them. And you should get five or six corn husks in your kit from the museum. Your kit also will have some scissors and some string. So your first step for making these is to take a few pieces of corn husk and lay them evenly together. So I've got three pieces here that we're going to use for the body. And then I'm saving one piece over here to use for the arms of the corn husk figure. So after you've got them laid down, you're going to cut a short piece of twine or string here and then you're gonna tie a quick knot near the top of the corn husks here and if you need a grown-ups help for tying knots feel free to ask them I'm sure that they'll help you out then we're gonna take those and the top layer or two back over and fold it under so that that knot is in the middle there and is hidden underneath. And then you're going to cut a second piece of string. And we're going to use this to tie the head for our action figure. So just slide it under there and then tie another good knot here. Now this string will show, so you might want to trim off the ends of it. All right, the next thing you're going to do is take the corn husk for your figure's arm, and we're going to stretch it out like this and sort of roll it. And then we're going to find that gap in between the layers of corn husk and slide it through the center like this. And I like to slide it up pretty near that knot that you made for the neck, for the head. And then we're gonna get another piece of string and tie it right under those arms so that they will stay in place. So corn husk dolls have been around for a long time. Native Americans have been making them for thousands of years for kids to play with. And the corn is one of the foods from the Americas that pretty quickly spread all around the world. And then once it started growing all around the world, people started making figures with them and playing with the corn husk figures. And we have a sample of figures here that are featured here at the museum. As you can see, there's people. People, you can also turn them into animals like this little donkey here. All right, so now we have our basic figure. So the next step, I like to trim the arms because I think they look a little bit too long when you leave them the full length. So just cut off a little bit from each end of the arms here. And then cut two more pieces of string that you are going to use to tie on the arms to make the hands. Like this, and you'll do that on both sides. And again, you might want to trim the strings here. And then you need to decide whether you want your action figure to be wearing a dress or pants. 
So if you want a dress, you can just leave your action figure the way that it is. If you want to make an action figure wearing pants, like this one, all you do is cut up the center here, near to where you made the waist at. And then you're going to get another little piece of string and loop it underneath to make the ankles. And then it's up to you whether or not you want to add clothing or a face you could draw on here. Um, you can also use your corn husk to um, add a wrap or shawl around your corn husk figure. Uh, whatever decorations you'd like for your action figure to have. So. Be sure to stop by and pick up one of these corn husk action figure kits from the Job Car Museum. And while you're here, you can also get a copy of your coloring contest entry form. And if you get that in before September, you can be entered to win some really fun art prizes. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great day.